Hey, my family and friends. Uh, once again, it just will not be a normal Sunday night without me tuning in and giving you all a Uber update. So, um, tonight has been fairly, fairly nice thus far. Um, I did encounter an interesting connection, which I will explain to you in a little bit. So, um, this one guy I picked up, really sweet guy, whatever. Um, he definitely gave me like a five buck tip for like, I think the trip was only like three or seven dollars. This other guy, he gave me a thirteen dollar. Yeah, it was like a thirteen dollar tip off like a three dollar. But that's not even like what I was going to talk about. But that was that was pretty much really good because it's been a while since I got like some big tips like that. But that was really great. So my last ride as of right now I'm hoping to um head home in a little bit but I want to hurry up and make this quick video for you all um and I hope this touches someone's heart and encourage someone and inspire someone um to get your heart and your mind and your spirit right before the Lord so I just picked this guy up from um this restaurant out in Virginia Beach and um you could tell he was quite tipsy. He was an older gentleman. Um, I would say he was probably in his late 60s, probably early 70s. He seemed, you know, seemed fairly active and independent. Um, when he came in the car, um, I don't know, was it just because he's tipsy or he may have something else going on with him, but he was alone. And um, he came in the car, he like pulled my front seat up. He then sat in the back seat. And he mentioned, um, what happened? Okay, yeah. And then he started, like, looking on my floor, like, telling me stuff. And I'm like, look, okay, yes, it's there. Like, I guess someone from this weekend left a notebook in my car. Okay. And then there's a CD, a preaching CD, in an envelope. And he's like, well, I will listen to whatever music you got. I'll listen to it. <laughs> I'm so glad that you asked because I have some plenty of good music for you to listen to and so he first said oh well what you have in, is a CD in the envelope we can listen to that I was like what's well, a preaching CD he's like okay well we'll just listen to some music and I'm like okay so shout out tonight to Anthony Evans Pandora playlist I love that that's one of my favorite playlists and special shout out to William McDowell um, with uh, one of his songs, We Can Change the World. Um, so I start playing the song, and he's like, I had my volume up to like 12, 14. He was like, is that all you're going to give me? Like, you want to turn the music up? And I'm like, okay. And he's like, you could turn it up to 30. I said, that's my max. He's like, well, can you turn it up to 20 or 23? So I turned it up to 23. And then he was like, I'll just talk loud, um, giving you you know the back way for the directions and then he's like it's kind of hot in here can you max out the ac he was just like doing being petty and just doing too much but you know granted you're old you're tipsy you're lost you're sleeping so i'm going to help you out i'm gonna blast this jesus music just for you so start blasting music and you know I, you know i'm jamming He's jamming, and um, he's like, on beat, you know, tapping on beat. Come on, somebody. Then he says, you know, thank you for this. Thank you for this song. And he says, it's funny how faith would turn you back around. It's funny how faith... um." you know, brings you to certain places. And he said, pretty much he was saying how he just been through a lot of stuff in his life and he's been through so much stuff in his life that I probably would not be able to imagine. And I was like, I believe you. And he's like, you know, I grew up here all my life and I guess he was talking about how his parents was here and they was would take him to church and, um... You know, we didn't get so in depth with his story. But once again, I've encountered another prodigal um, on another Sunday night. 
And once again, here I am. The Lord allowed me to be his light, um, allowed me to be his hands and feet for tonight to remind someone once again that Jesus loves them, that Jesus still wants them. And it was like he was so like animated. But, um, you know, he was like, I really like before he got the car, he just kept saying how much he needed to hear that song. He really needed this ride and he just was like I really really needed that um even in the midst of him not even being in all of his right mind because you know he was like, slightly intoxicated with alcohol um but there's the story there right there you guys um I'm going to keep sharing these stories I remember ever since um, I I started my college years at Norfolk State that the Lord somehow for some reason has allowed me to run into prodigals and um, for so many years I never could understand it and I still don't fully understand it but I'm just doing my best to just love the prodigals and just remind them once again that Jesus still loves you Jesus still cares for you. Um, life, like I said before in my other videos, you know, it rains on the just and the unjust. Yes, there are bad things that happen to good people. There are bad things that happen to bad people. And there's good things that happen to good people. And there's good things that happen to bad people. But ultimately, at the end of the day, what's more important is our salvation unto the Lord. Um, another song too tonight that I just absolutely love from Anthony Evans called No Condemnation. Um, you can read more about no, having no condemnation. I think it's in Romans 8. But, um, you know, we've all made mistakes. You know, I'll sit here and tell you right now, Miss Kim has made her mistakes. Um, there's been things, of course, that I feel ashamed. I felt embarrassed about. I felt condemned about. But, you know, God, mercy and his grace and his love is so much greater and then what we just see every day you know his love is truly unconditional and if I could keep stressing it and keep stressing it if you are a prodigal here tonight listening or this morning or whatever time you're listening to this if I could just beg of you and encourage you to find a place of repentance find a secret place with the Lord and to share your heart with the Lord share your mind with the Lord and the Lord will open a way. He will open a door for you um, to get things right with him. That's all he wants. He just wants your whole heart. That's all he wants is your whole life. And he could turn something great out of the brokenness. He will heal your broken heart. He will heal every broken piece. So I want to share that with you all tonight or today. You all be blessed. And stay tuned. Hey guys, so I only have a few minutes to share this really quick story. So many of you have been following my post about people leaving their phones in my car, right? So of course, I actually just posted that as just joking, of course. But you know, this is my third time this has happened that I had to return a phone. Now, this particular phone, if you go back and look at my video from Sunday night, there was an older man um, that I picked up and... Um, like I said, he was a prodigal, and um, he really felt really moved about being in my car and listening to the music that I had on. And um, he was just sharing a little bit about his story. So go and check that video for Sunday night to understand what just took place this morning. So I finally was able to return um, this gentleman's phone back to his home, went to his home, knocked on the door several times, rang the doorbell a few times. Um, so... Thankfully, he was able to come to the door. Great thing about it was um, he told me that he had a tracker on his phone, so he tried to reach me yesterday, but he couldn't get to me. But um, he also shared that he lost another phone in his clip was his money and his ID. He's just going through right now, right? So, and then he just, you know, touched his heart again like he did Sunday night. He was like, um... You know, he's like, yes, I, I remember you because he was trying to figure out, you know, the different cars that he was in. I was like, well, I was the lady that told him about the trip 
from Sunday night. He's like, yes, yes, I remember you the one that had the most beautiful gospel music playing. And I really do appreciate it. I still do appreciate it. And he just started breaking down. And I said, do you want me to go ahead and pray for you right now? And um, so that's what happened. We just had a nice little prayer meeting um, at the front of his house. And um, the Lord, Lord was there, of course. The Lord is with us. And then I told him, I said, well, would you like for me? I said, well, what is it that you really need? What is it that you really um, need me to pray for? Like, I was praying, you know, very basic general prayer. You know, like, for the Lord for peace over him. Um, just sharing that, you know, of course, the Lord is still here. The Lord still loves it, loves us or whatever. And um, I said, well, would you like to like for me to give you a pamphlet and whatnot for my church? And he said, like, yes, yes, yes. And so I went to car, and, of course, I always have witnessing tools here so I always keep some magazines for my church I have like a few issues and um, I gave him like three different issues and I and I told him some good articles in here and I and I was of course praying for encouragement for him and um, I told him I said you know these past few weeks I've been learning the Lord's been teaching me and I've been learning that God knows exactly where we are. He knows exactly where we are. And he's still calling us. He's still seeking after us, you know. So I said, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep praying. Keep talking to him. Keep telling him what you, what you need. And he was just saying, you know, telling me how, you know, I just would not imagine the stuff he has to, that he's been through and that he's going through. And People, people, my saints, my brothers and sisters out here, people are lost. People are straight sleeping. People are hurting. People are hurting. And God has sent us, those that the Lord has chosen to um, receive this word, to walk in his word, to walk in his truth. He has anointed us to go out to preach this gospel, to preach Jesus, to let people know that God is still here. God is still seeking you. Like he's not, he's not ignoring you. He hasn't left you. He hasn't forsaken you. And so many people out here in this world, you know, people get so deep into sin, so deep into situations and issues and struggles that they feel, they feel condemned. They feel that God is never going to forgive them and that there's nowhere for them to start. And I was sharing with him how, you know, I know sometimes, you know, things get so messed up and crazy and we in our struggle that sometimes we don't know where to start. But I was like, just doing what you're doing now, exactly what we're doing, praying. God wants to hear from you. God still loves you. He wants you to know that he's right here with you. And he said he knows it. And, you know, and so, you know, it, it's just amazing how God works in our lives that God will have, you know, have us go out and do Uber and Lyft rides and just so happen the Lord will allow someone to lose their phone just so that we can have another chance with a person, another chance to share truth in the gospel. And I told him, I said, I'm going to be praying for him. I prayed for him that, you know, whoever has his other phone and his other um money and materials that they will bring it to him that he will be able they will bring it back to his home today and I just I know he's encouraged I am encouraged it's just another reminder that God is real you people out here that you know you logical thinkers and always trying to you know put God in a box and you know analyze why God's not real or whatever I'm gonna tell you right now God is real the argument's done stop planning around get your life right get your heart right with God Go to a place of repentance. It could be in your home. It could be in your car. It could be in your closet. It could be at work. It doesn't matter where you are. God is always ready to hear from us. He wants to hear from a sincere heart. He knows you're going through. Like I said, it, ru- it rains on the just and the undressed. So I encourage you today to wherever you are, just know that God knows exactly where you are and knows that he still loves you. And it's, it may seem so, it may sound so simple, but it really is like God really really does love you and he will do whatever necessary to share and express his love to you so that's it you all have a great day and stay tuned for more